bring us wonderful uh, machines um, from from our, our favorite company out here, or uh, well, at least in our the top favorites is Hoover. And you always bring us things where we clean our carpets and things like that, and we talk about the importance of doing that. But a lot of us don't know have a really good way to clean our hard floors, and I'm talking our linoleum, our tile. Uh, if you've got uh, travertine floors, if you've got wood floors, until until now from Hoover. Hoover's got something called the Floor Mate. What a cool item yes. to scrub wash, clean, dry, does everything in one easy step. It does. Yeah. And, okay, to clean your hard floors, it's probably the hardest job in the yeah. entire house of all of Mops your floors. Mops and buckets. Mops oh, and I hate buckets. that. I, everybody hates cleaning their hard floors. Well, the Floor Mate is designed specifically for your hard floors, not carpets, just your hard floors, your tile, your wood, your linoleum. And there is nothing on the market like this. What it does is it washes and scrubs your floors and it dries them at the same time. The best part about it is it uses clean water every single time so you're not recycling that mop, mop bucket every time you dip your mop yeah. in the bucket and you go over your floor you're not really you're putting, getting clean you're not getting clean no. so come over here let me show you how it works because it is different than anything else and you know i work for hoover so we sell a lot of different things we sell mops and steam mops this is totally different and it is the cleanest clean right. that you'll ever get okay this disgusting, that is tomato juice. So we're making a huge mess right here because we want to show you how this works. And then we're going to drizzle a little bit of yogurt. Yeah. Now, a lot of people would grab for paper towels, but I'm going to make it even sloppier. Now, we, we have this table set up, just so everybody knows, with mirrors, so you can see what's happening from every angle. Yes. You know, what underneath. We're gonna do Watch. If you took a mop or anything, this is what a mop does, and this is obviously exaggerated, but it pushes That's nasty, mops Julie. Smear, and then you know what? You've got those drippy right. little things that you have to replace. Okay, check out the floor mate. With this same exaggerated mess, you have a two-tank system, so I'm using clean water to clean it, but look from underneath. Watch those brushes underneath. Look at this, there's no pushing. This is on a glass table. Look at, look there it, we look go. It. Look, okay, check this out. And I'm gonna leave a little bit so you can see, but look as I pull backwards. Wow. It's cleaning it, and my brushes are clean. Is that crazy? It's dry. It's totally dry. I know, so don't go away. I want what? you to see this. I'm gonna take a paper towel. Okay, right here. In fact, you can see where it's wet. There's a squeegee. So as I pull it behind, it looks like I used, you know, the W blue Shh. stuff on yeah. here on the glass. Look at, show everybody it's, the towel. Okay, it's bone dry, wow. both sides, totally dry and streak free. So I know we're using it on a glass table. It's just to show how it works. Clean water is on one side. Your dirty water is on the other. This would be your mop bucket, but it never, ever, ever touches your floor. So you're not putting dirty water on your floors. And it's the only product that will dry your hard floor surfaces. We sell mops, Hoover sells steam mops. This is totally different. There is nothing like it. Even a steam mop leaves a little bit of moisture behind on your floor. Yeah, it does, and this is in one in one shot. This one is pass. why we call it an all-in-one. You know, the, the key to this item, first of all, we're gonna give you the, we give you the cleanser to come along with this. It's those little scrub brushes inside there that get in there and break down the gunk and the funk and, and the system of actually applying the, the cleaner and then also sucking it up in the, exactly. same, in the same motion. And I'm glad you mentioned the brushes. Yeah. Let's go over here come and on over. the show. This is the first time that we've offered two sets of brushes. To get started, you use hot tap water. It comes with your cleaning solution you just measure it pour it into the hot tap water and then you push it like a regular vacuum this is a huge customer pick people are complete freaks about their floor mate they love it well, there's groupies out there with you, their you know what mate. i love about it and why i when i switched um like i said i don't have every item that we that we have on here but i have this one because i have a lot of hard floors yes. that's all i have and they're hard i, to have, clean. I have area rugs that's it <clears throat> well the big thing is is i love to cook and in my kitchen my kitchen floor gets filthy all yeah. the time and it's a beautiful travertine sealed travertine and and it just gets messy it gets drips and of course you know the garbage pail is in there all my all my pots right. and pans are it's in there dirty it gets nasty and and you know what i tried <clears throat> i tried to steam up didn't work okay because it all a steam mop does is apply steam it doesn't scrub right and so i wasn't getting the the, the, scrubby, the stuff that the, i needed especially around the garbage pail yeah if you have pets you know that you on and you put most people have pets don't put the cat box on a carpet they put it on a hard floor the dog bowl goes on a hard floor not a right. carpet and you know how messy that area gets what about that area around your bathtub 
Oh, yeah. oh, you need gosh. to scrub that. You right. can't just steam that. And your bathrooms, around the toilet. Okay, hairspray. On yeah, your yeah, yeah. And you're getting two brush rolls today. So one is designed specifically for tile and grout. You're getting two. And you know what? You know how the, your mop looks disgusting? Yeah. Well, your brushes will get dirty, but you can pop them off and wash them. Also, it's not made out of a mop material. So you're getting two sets of brushes. They're interchangeable. One is designed, let me see if I can show you. One is soft, which is nice for your wood floors. But right. this one right here. That's a scrubby. You can feel it. This is a scrubby. So if you want something to scrub your floors, it'll get in your grout line. So let's show it to you in action. I was scrubbing this floor earlier, your linoleum, your tile, your grout, just to show that this is exaggerated. I'm going to go extra slow because this is ground in and it's dried on gunk. So you turn the floor mate on. There's a trigger up here which allows that cleaning solution to come out. So I'm going extra slow. In fact, it's even harder. To push because you have so you have so much there. sticky stuff on top of there and then it breaks up the residue right here this is linoleum as i'm going forward let me give you a little sneak peek as i pull back wow and linoleum has those little grooves on it oh my gosh Look at the <laughs> And, it has and that is, and you a literally half. have like painted on funk it on top is, of that yeah, floor. Yeah, this is like a syrup, so it's stuck on here. It's ground into those little pores. So as I go up, those brushes are scrubbing. It's 11 and a half cleaning path right there, all the way across. You can see that dirty water coming right up. And I think you can see that my floor is totally dry. It, it so is unbelievable. Here's your clean water on one side. There's your clean water tank. On this side right here, there is my dirty water just from this small little pass. And let me show you too, you can take your paper towel. It's the only product that will dry your floor instantly. And you know, there's totally dry, bone dry. There's a squeegee right here. So as you pull back, it's automatically suctioning up your floor using clean water. Now, you know, with linoleum, it's got these little grooves right here. Mm -hmm. So what happens is it gets, it's able to scrub into those little grooves. So if your linoleum is starting to look yellowed yeah. or it gets dirty or just the regular everyday dirt, this is the only product that will scrub your floor and dry them at the exact same time. And it's easy to use. And you're not doing this. You're in the upright position well, like a vacuum. And, and everything, there's no recycled water. You have separate tanks. There's dual tank system inside. So your, your clean water and dirty water are separate. So you're not reapplying. It has one and a half gallons of, of uh, fluid inside there which is enough to do 360 square feet yeah. which is a lot of space easily finish a couple of rooms without having to change out the tank definitely love that exactly hey, let me remind everybody julie that this is free shipping today that's important this is expensive to ship out um and also the fact that jared is this on four flex or five five flex holy mackerel so it's only $30 to get it home. Julie, this is a real nasty mess right here. Yeah, we've got our wood floor right here. Oops, when we come back, we'll get on the floor. Um, but what's nice about your wood is it's the only product that will dry your wood floor surfaces. Mm -hmm. So you can scrub them and again, put on those soft scrubbing brushes. Put on those soft scrubbing those brushes. Those are designed right, here we go. And we just changed out and put the wood brushes on. Remember, for bathroom floors, for kitchen floors, you use the harder scrubby. But when you're doing your wood floors, you just pop in that one. And that is designed to give a nice clean to your floor. Look at that. Look as I pull wow. that. Wow. And if you want to bring the shine back to your wood floor, you can see that dirt coming right up. Look at that right there. Now, let me show you again. I want to take my paper dry. towel, the floor. This is your wood floor. The only, and you know the wood floor manufacturers tell you not to put moisture on your floor. It is the only product that will dry your hard wood floor surfaces. So again, there's a squeegee right here. As you pull back, it, ooh, this is so sticky over here. As yeah, you're you going to have to clean them shoes, back, dude. It instantly <laughs> dries your floor. It scrubs and dries all in one pass. Let's move over here right next door over to... Uh, 
show gotcha, Julie. our tile. So with your tile, let's show those grout brushes again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get two sets of brushes. Use the soft ones for your wood. You can use your harder ones for the linoleum and then also your grout. And then they spin. When these get dirty, you pop them out. And it's not made out of like a mop where it absorbs the dirt. Right, right, you right, know, right. So you can... It's like a regular uh, scrubby side of a sponge. You know, it's that, that kind of a material that actually scrubs <laughs> down there. It is safe on all sealed floors, uh, on uh, any tile, any linoleum. It'll work on any of those floors. Um, and, and when we say sealed floors, if you got a hardwood floor, it's sealed. Exactly. Nobody installs right. a hardwood no, it, floor without sealing sealed. it. So unless you built your own floor and you didn't seal it, you're fine because all floors are sealed uh, for the most part. So you don't have to worry about that. It's but also let me tell safe you, on your, like the, the Pergo type wood yeah, floors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Which are really, really popular. Yeah, if you've wood, got if engineered wood. As long as it's sealed, it? if you've got bamboo, whatever it is, you can you can take advantage of it. Again, the real the real kicker with this is you don't have to dry your floors I or know. wait. Because and of that powerful vacuum that's sucks that water up, nothing is left. Exactly. Look at this right here. Okay, this is ceramic tile. So in your bathrooms, in your hallway, or not hallways, but like your entryways, if you have this kind of tile, it gets dull over time. And you can see how this is a high gloss. It brought the shine back. It looks like it was polished. It looks wet too, but I'm showing you right here. It is totally dry. We had ketchup right here. We had gunk right here. It was able to get it up. It's able to scrub your grout lines. You don't have to take that mop now and go like this or get a toothbrush. If you had to hire a professional to come out and clean your grout, it's hundreds of dollars to do that. Right. Use the floor mate. And the best part about it, you're using clean water every time. It has a two tank system. Clean water's over here. It's not heavy, by it's the way, not either. Heavy. It's not a big heavy machine. You can still port it around. You see in Julie's teeny tiny, but she Oops, can still we've got move one it. Over here. I'll yeah, use you got this one here. One. Okay. Um, but I encourage you to grab it. If you love the feeling of a nice clean house, you know, if you like to walk around on your kitchen floors and your bathroom floors and your bare feet, then you gotta clean them right. This is the way to clean them without any downtime. Exactly, and it cleans as you go forward and reverse. So it's scrubbing behind me. Now watch as I pull back. Your, look at the water right there, because it's hard to see on your dark floor surfaces. But look how, this is the color of floors that we have. Yeah. And then if you want to, Guy, go ahead and spill the milk oh, on really? our wood floor. This is what's Where, great, just too. all over? Yep, you can pour it wherever you want. Okay, watch this. Guy just spilled milk. Look how quickly I'm I can I'm not going to cry over it. it. Look at that. Look how quick. I'm not going to cry over it because I got this machine. I know. But it's not, oh, Look at that, sticky. Jules. Yeah, it's not so, just suctioning it up, it's wet back. cleaning it. Yeah, yes. it's a wet back too. And I, you know, I, I also know that um, this machine, and I'll be honest, I know some people that use it to spot clean their carpets. <laughs> Oh it's not designed goodness. for that, but if you if you drop a glass of wine on a carpet and you're in a pinch, right? Yeah, <laughs> I've known people to do that. that oh, you know what? It's a great machine. I have less than three minutes. Flex paint. Did Julie? That's a great shot because you can see how dry it is. Yeah, look how dry. And you again, this is wood dry. floor right here. It had a sticky mess on it. We poured the milk on top of it, and you can see that it's bone dry. So as you pull back, there's a squeegee here, and then it suctions in the liquid. You are always 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 using clean water yeah. no more buckets no more mops no more of those swishy guys uh, that you have to buy those little replacement pads for you know what it's ideal for is cleaning your bathroom floors um, and I won't get into yeah. all the reasons why you want to clean your bathroom floors. But if you, you have need kids, to. you probably know that it's a good idea to clean your bathroom floors because Lord knows what else, what's going on in there. But the nice thing is, is that you can get in and around the uh, the tub. You can get in and around the toilet area, which is just plain nasty. And I don't know when's the last time you actually scrubbed under there. And just, you know, vacuuming and all stuff. That might get rid of some of the stuff, but you need to really scrub the floors. And I will guarantee you, when you empty the unit after you clean your bathroom, Lord, I hope it's not that color, but because that would be bad. But you know, it's it's part of life. We got to clean, and that's what this machine does. It cleans and it does a great job of it. Yeah, and when I emptied it out, I, I think you can see that you can open up that little canister <laughs> and clean it out totally. Let's go back over here to the linoleum, and I'm going to pour after we clean it up. I'm going to pour a big mess on here. This is just like vacuuming. You don't have to bend over and scrub. You turn it on. The brushes do all the work for you. 
It's a lovely, so, it's like a nice college dorm floor there, oh Jules. Oh my gosh, this is so what sticky the heck? right here. Various, it's hard to push. A lot of debris, a lot of disgusting nastiness. Edge to edge. Fourth of July to party house. left over. Oh, look. Oh my That's goodness. That's over at Jared's house. A lot of wine spilling. And yeah. Okay, this is sticky, things. so it's not just suctioning it up. It's cleaning it at the same time, so there's not going to be a sticky residue. Look, Look at how that. quickly I can get that up, and it's drying it at the same time. That's I'm not like getting dirty. Over there at Brandon's house, like, they have a tendency to spill over there. Right, but yeah, well, hey, you got to clean it up. And you know, here's the thing, and the, the big difference, let's, let's end on this. The big difference is, Julie. Yes, I'm The big listening. difference is we're not using a bucket and putting the no same bucket. dirty water, water on the floor. Every time. Exactly. You're not you're, cleaning it. You're using clean hey, water. would you brush your teeth in the same cup and keep putting it in the same cup? Ew. No, you'd rinse it under the